Steve says, we use Teams for work with an attendee list of approximately 200 for a class every two days, every week. So weekly class, 200 people. Got it. Since the past few months, we've noticed that some people simply can't share their screen when we send them for activities in breakout rooms for 10 or so people, yet others can. The workaround method we use is to tell them to leave the breakout room, then go in the conversation tab on the left, then click on their breakout rooms chat, then click on their join room button on the upper right hand side. This always works. So it's a roundabout way to get back into the space. Has anyone experienced this? Has a solution been found? So the answer to that is like, well, it's teams. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Wait a week. <clears throat> So yeah. what's weird is, is I love the fact that they asked this, but what's even funnier is I had a client having this problem. And I said, oh, just go do this. And that's the solution I gave them because there was yeah. just nothing else to do. <laughs> it seems to sometimes be that whole, you know, what's their email address that are coming in? Are they a class as an internal or an external with breakout rooms and little things like that can yeah. sometimes throw it out of whack. And then all of a sudden you're going through chat instead of, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I, I find it in Teams too, depending on the last time a, a tweak in a policy was done, like you could be in the middle and all of a sudden something update and it will make things go a little haywire. Um, so there's contributing factors that we may not know in this instance, um, but ultimately that is the workaround. So there's been a lot of updates to teams though since uh, you know since this we've had 450 a lot of 450 last year so yeah, a lot that's of change it. happening to teams exactly so and especially around the breakout rooms and some of the stuff that's sitting in the back end with having co-organizers now and so you might find that that little glitch has actually changed now cross fingers with some of the updates yeah well, and, that, and, they're and, throwing stuff at teams left and right. This is new. That's are. new. We've added this. We're changing that. You can now do this. You can now do this other thing while you're at it. Yeah. They throw it in and it breaks stuff. And they, they're a lot faster throwing stuff in than they are fixing stuff that broke. Yeah. So, but, it's, uh, I, but I mean, this this is this is the exact workaround that I've used. I've had these the exact mm -hmm. same issue. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason reason because I'll join another call and that it's it. I mean, if it's the same people every week that have the same problem, that might mm -hmm. speak to a different issue than it's right. a random problem. My experience is that it's a random problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know if it if 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 team chokes for some reason on the number of people that are within a, a room if it's it's the same number that you know each week that you're splitting up in between that might not be it but i chalk it up to um and it's the i'll, I'll go back to the default for anything microsoft related as you tried turning it off and on again and that's essentially the solution that steve that you guys came with that's the 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 team's room version of turning it off and on again and then you got it to work the way that you needed but it's uh yeah it, it's i i would say to make sure with a scenario like this to make sure that you're providing feedback back to the product team you go to the microsoft tech community um you can do a support ticket though when it's uh, something that's an inconsistent issue like this like what are they really going to look at and go and do um but definitely want to share this behavior with the product team in a place where they're going to see it. And Microsoft tech community and the team's forums would be a great place to go and do that. And maybe they'll respond. They can, maybe they'll come back with questions. Maybe they'll look at the, the account and the profile uh, and let them know when the next one's going on so they can watch it on the back end in real time. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to not just be in the background complaining that there's a problem, not that you're complaining, you're asking a question, um, but, uh, but to let Microsoft know so that they can take steps, uh, you know, to try and correct it. So I can't yeah. tell you Microsoft is aware of this issue. Yeah. I may or may not have reported it a few times. Yeah. Another good place to go and look for things and ask questions is the new Q&A portal, too. Yes. Yep. Yes. Perfect.